Hey food lovers, Dale here from Press to Cook. And today we've got a chilly topic to dive into, resetting your sub-zero fridge. If your fridge is acting up or you just want to give it a fresh start, you're in the right place. Before we get into the nitty gritty, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more cool kitchen tips and tricks. All right, let's get started. First, let's talk about why you might need to reset your Sub-Zero fridge. Maybe it's not cooling properly, or perhaps the ice maker has decided to take an unscheduled vacation. Whatever the reason, a reset can often be the magic fix you need. Now here's a quick rundown of what we'll cover today. How to safely reset your fridge, what to do if the reset doesn't work, and some maintenance tips to keep your Sub-Zero running like a champ. Sound good, let's go. Step one, unplug your fridge. Yep, it's that simple. Find the plug, pull it out and give your fridge a little break. While it's unplugged, take a minute to check the power cord and outlet for any signs of damage. All right, next up, wait for about 30 minutes. I know patience isn't easy when you're dealing with a temperamental fridge, but trust me, this downtime is crucial. During this time, the fridge's internal systems will reset and any lingering issues might just resolve themselves. Once your 30 minutes are up, go ahead and plug the fridge back in. Now don't just slam the door and walk away. Take a moment to listen for the familiar hum of the compressor kicking back on. That sound means your fridge is coming back to life. Now what if the reset didn't do the trick? No worries, we've got a plan B. First, check the control panel for any error codes. These codes can give you a clue about what's really going on inside your fridge. If you see an error code, grab your Sub-Zero manual or head to their website to look up what it means. Sometimes it's a simple fix, like adjusting the temperature settings or cleaning the condenser coils. Speaking of cleaning, let's talk maintenance. Regular upkeep can prevent a lot of common fridge issues. Make sure to clean the condenser coils every six months. These coils are usually located at the back or bottom of your fridge and can get clogged with dust and debris. Another tip, check the door seals. A loose or cracked seal can let cold air escape, making your fridge work harder than it needs to. If you notice any issues, replace the seals to keep your fridge running efficiently. And don't forget about the water filter. If your Sub-Zero has an ice maker or water dispenser, changing the filter every six months is a must. A clogged filter can affect water flow and ice production, so keep it fresh. All right, let's do a quick recap. Unplug your fridge, wait 30 minutes, plug it back in and listen for that sweet hum. If that doesn't work, check for error codes and consult your manual. And remember, regular maintenance is key to keeping your Sub-Zero fridge in top-notch condition. That's it for today's chilly adventure. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more kitchen hacks and appliance tips. Leave a comment below if you have any fridge-related questions or if there's another topic you'd like me to cover. Thanks for watching and until next time keep it cool with press to cook.